Okay. Ah, uh, okay. We're in. So we are here at Arapahoe Bowl in uh, Littleton, Colorado, and we are here for uh, our third unified bowling match, and we are uh, playing along with Eagle Crest High School today and their unified bowling program. So you're going to see a lot of activity and a lot of new faces, and it's, uh, it's our opportunity to be able to play our competition in person and uh, um, together, which is cool. So uh, this is uh, uh, Eric Gilbert, um, high school teacher at Strasburg High School. And uh, um, Bert Buckman's going to join me momentarily, as well as Coach Hemphill, maybe. So we'll see uh, kind of how that goes. But I'm going to start off solo. And uh, I guess, if anything, if you guys... Any of us that are listening, any of y'all that are listening out there, if you want to drop us a few comments on our YouTube channel on the side there, um, just kind of give us some feedback. Let us know that you can hear us well. Um, we're still in the process of trying to up, trying to come up with a good camera angle, and uh, because we have two teams, this is a bit of a, a bit of an experiment again, as this is um, this is new. So. Anyway, we will join you all momentarily um, as we get our match, uh, our match started here in a couple minutes. All right. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. I'm back live. This is uh, Coach Gilbert here at uh, the Strasburg versus Eagle Crest Unified Bowling Match. And uh, uh, father and coach and all-around volunteer, Burt Bachman's going to join me here and call his first his first match. Coach Bowler's going to uh, going to rejoin us on Thursday, and uh, um, we'll see how we do. So. Once uh, Bert gets settled here, we'll turn him live. And <laughs> all right, all right, Bert, you're live. Let's see if we can hear oh. you. Okay. All right, we can hear you. That's good. All right, so we're gonna just kind of see the action from here. I'm gonna switch to our. See if I can switch our YouTube channel just to be sure we're we're good. I think we see us. Keep it on YouTube. Oh, okay, gotcha. So YouTube's the one to stay on, correct? Oh, I take that back. Or do I go back? That's, okay, that's so that's exactly the one to stay on? Oh, okay, gotcha. Gotcha, okay. All right. All right, we're coming live from Centennial, Colorado, at the Aurora Bowling Alley. Yep. Or Arapaho Bowling. Arapaho Bowling, yep. yeah. Arapaho Bowl, I guess, is they. It must, must have maybe changed hands a few times. I don't know. Yeah. So it's a little interesting. I know many of you can't see it, but obviously most... Bowling alleys are these massive, you know, big open spaces. Well, clearly, to, to meet certain restrictions, they've got these huge curtains in between probably every 10 lanes. Um, so it looks like we've got probably almost 30 lanes because they've got three, three different sections. So can you hear it? And, okay, very good. So we've got, uh, we've kind of got our technical people out there letting us know if they can hear us and... And again, any of you guys out there that either have Bert or myself's uh, uh, cell phone number, um, please text us and let us know if we're uh, doing all right and we're uh, on point. So we want to make sure that everybody can hear us um, out there and everybody's seeing what we're doing. So anyway, um, we, we don't know uh, really, I guess, the names of the players for, for Eagle Crest, but... Uh, We'll do our best, and in, in for sure we're going to uh, comment on our own. Right, Bert? That's correct. Yeah. It's exciting here for the 
Strasburg Unified Bowling uh, first head-to-head -head match, yep. I guess we call it. I guess, match. yeah, because it's our first time that it's head-to-head uh, -head in person because, of course, we've been bowling at our own uh, Strasburg, sure. or excuse me, at Strucky Like Lanes in Strasburg. So. Yeah, and we, um, and we would like to thank all our sponsors. We yep. have the red, uh, black, and white sponsors, so we'll just mention a few before the action starts. Perfect. So we have the Home and Land Realty. Now is the time to sell your home and land for top dollar. Contact Home and Land Realty, your local real estate professionals, 303-622-4242. Blue Halo Homes, LLC. Together we can find a solution for your next home. And Proactive Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine, 13 locations including Strasburg, Brighton, Greeley, and Eaton. Recovery in Motion, 720-805-1853. Paul's Homes, looking for a new home? Come see Paul's Homes at Blackstone Ranch. Visit us at liveinstrasburg.com or call 303-622-4131. United Electric, we don't have a phone number for them, but they are listed as a red sponsor, and we want to thank them as well. Our black sponsors are, black, are Westwood, Westward Defense, LLC, Dusty Miller, 303-478-2768 for your commercial, agricultural, and temporary fencing needs. Wolf West, Jeff Black, Wolf West LLC, a service, disabled, veteran-owned small business. Call at 970-483-5299. And Western Hardware, Strasburg local hardware store since 1972. Open seven days a week for all your home improvement needs. 303-622-4414. Insurance problems got you trapped on the bowling lane. Pass the ball to Dylan Kent and his team. One Street Insurance Group for the strike. We are brokers of auto, home, business, and life insurance with top independent company in the state. It's a slam strike. Yes, <laughs> slam strike. 303-577-9998 <laughs> or onestreetinsurance.com. Yeah, we 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 uh, we appreciate Dylan. We're, we're, we're slowly moving. <laughs> we're ad living. To yeah, we're totally ad living. <laughs> but that's okay. That's you know, it's all right. Uh, continue with some of our black sponsors: the gift shop, a great local source of gifts, gift items, greeting cards, antiques, and home decor. The gift shop is located. I don't in mean to interrupt you, Bert, but but John's got himself a ball. Oh, he pulled himself a nine right there on his first roll. Nice. AJ, yeah. AJ lined him up nice and good. And, and well, I should say, and uh, John had a nice, good good first start. So, Is that a live action or are we still practicing? You know, I'm I, not sure. You know, I haven't seen anything on the board. We've yeah. got the benefit of uh, uh, electric scoreboards oh. today. Yeah, it does Which say is kind of nice. So practice time is another. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, they have a okay. practice time remaining of eight thirty-six on lane three. Nine twenty-eight. Okay, so we got about a minute more than they've got on our our yeah. lanes. So yeah, I didn't even notice that. Yeah. So we're we're had the benefit of of some TV screens up there. We're we're going, but you continue with. Sponsors. Just a few more here to mention. We have Living Springs Veterinarian Care. Living Springs is located in Bennett, Colorado. They are offer 24-hour emergency service. Bring your animals to the clinic or they will come to you. 303-644-3337. And Weller Insurance, LLC. Come see why Weller Insurance has been in business since 1990. A small office of community members who are commercial, who are committed to customer service for our neighbors. Give Weller Insurance a call at 303-622-4717. Involve public accounting. People you might not need to see right now with tax <laughs> yeah. season, but... Yeah, it's Vault, coming down to the wire here shortly. Yeah, Vault Public Accounting welcomes walk-ins are welcome. Business and personal tax service, 720-360-0410. And our... White sponsor is Big D Warriors bringing baseball to our special needs kids in the I-70 corridor. Adaptive Baseball League in honor of Diego Alvarado, brother of Daniel Alvarado. And we've got one of our new oh, sponsors yeah. back here. We picked up a new sponsor this last uh, week and a half ago. It's a black sponsor. Um, yeah. yeah, go ahead there, Bert. Yeah, 
Clausen Chiropractic. Spinal health for the whole family at Clausen's Chiropractic. Okay, that's a tongue twister. <laughs> 1517 Main Street at Strasburg. Call 303-622-4200 for an appointment. You know, and if and if I bowled two games right now, I would definitely need that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and in fact, I'm going to one tomorrow. I should. I didn't realize they were. I would have went there. So. No, that's that's good. No, I I think uh, what's really great about all our sponsors is they most of all of these sponsors have been with us from the very beginning in football season. Yeah, and, we, you know, that I know that uh, when our when our booster club was in the process of trying to put all this together, um, you know, I think it's I think these companies and or our businesses that are local, they're they're seeing value out of this. They're seeing that uh, not only they, that, but they're sponsoring it really for the right reasons. Right. But in the same time, hopefully they're and I and I do know because I've heard some 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 chatter back that, you know, they're they're seeing uh, people are are mentioning this through our broadcasts and uh i think they see some value uh, not only in our in our programs but hopefully back to their businesses as well because we hope that our you know our local community and the i-70 quarter are supporting them because um you know they support us so it's yeah we've got to support small business man it, it, yeah if there's any time that's been more needed than any in our history it's yeah, now exactly um, it's a win-win for the community it's, it is uh, supports the, the kids and uh, brings this uh, broadcast to the to our community, yep. and it, it's a great asset for yep. our community. And we couldn't do it without our sponsors. Nope. Not so. at all. I mean, thank you. It's uh, it's amazing that it's amazing. Uh, you know, Coach Hemphill, he he just gave me a quick tutorial and how to set up our our production end of this, and uh, it's uh, it's taken I think several um, attempts to make sure. That, and there's always some sort of gremlins that are getting worked out, but sure. But uh, eventually, whoever's putting it together, namely Coach Hemphill, uh, he's the one that figures it out. So yeah. uh, we we get the cush part. We just yeah. have to show up and talk. Yeah, <laughs> Kevin's definitely the executive producer. Of no this question, process. and he is getting executive pay, is my understanding. <laughs> yeah, I'm you know? sure. <laughs> Not only is he getting, you know, we get maybe a pat on the back here and there. Right. He gets at least five. Right. Right. You know, he gets five times the pats, so, which he, he he deserves. And occasionally we get the voice of the Indians on these broadcasts, but very <laughs> seldom. <you know. laughs> right. Well, I did, you know, it was pretty. Okay, so the team's been released from class today, and they're waiting out up, up front in the kind of the vest, vestibule right there in, in Circle Drive. And somebody mentioned to me, they go, yeah, we heard that, that Kate Hempel and Cameron Gilbert want to do a broadcast for Unified Bowling, and I said, "Yeah, probably not." <laughs> yeah. Put, yeah. Putting my son <laughs> and Kevin's son together, yeah, yeah, on a that live broadcast. I don't know that we could handle that liability. Yeah, and we did hear AJ on his broadcast. Yes, so. which I hey, our high school kids. I'm telling you, that was the most probably some of the most enjoyable broadcasts very, we ever had all very, year. Very interesting. With our kids. Yeah. But I don't know that we should turn them over to middle school kids yet. Yeah, right. It's yeah. maybe. Hey. And Even though they got a ton of character and it'd be probably awesome to listen to, sure. Um, there might be a few side stories in that. Yeah, gig. yeah. <laughs> we, we we probably need to censor that one for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We don't have that in our, our production budget. Right. <laughs> We'd have to have a five second delay. Boop. <laughs> Boop. So. So we're about uh, three minutes out from going to live games again. We're here at uh, Centennial, Colorado, at the Arapaho Bowl. Okay. Strasburg Unified Bowling taking on their first head-to-head -head match with Eagle Crest uh, yep. High School. I think it, they're the Raptors, aren't they? Yes, I believe so. so. Or, wait, no. Yeah? Are Eagle they Crest. Raptors? Are they the Raptors? I can't. We'll, you think I'd we'll that? clarify that. Yeah, but, uh, I, I thought it was, I don't know. Yeah, you one know. thing uh, <laughs> that uh, should be... That I'm proud of. I'm looking out here, and uh, the Strasburg team is about double the size of Eagle Crest, which is a school of about 4,000 kids. It's unreal. Yeah. Uh, so. I, you know, I, I give a lot of credit to, you know, we've had a great history of, um, you know, our high-needs programs and, and serving yeah. our high-needs kids. You know, and, of course, our school district works, works so closely with BOCES, Eastern uh, Boasties out of Lyman, and 
you know, it, it takes that partnership as well as, you know, our, our, our teachers, uh, Shannon Oakley specifically, yeah. uh, Tina Connolly, um, Shay. I mean, it, it takes so many of our, our paras and our, our yeah. teachers to provide a great program and to have a center-based program in Strasburg and for it to be, you know, between six and ten students at any given time. Um, sure. It's a challenge. You know, I, I, I have the fortune of um, they're always in my first hour PE class. So we only have two PE classes, which is first and seventh. Uh-huh. And uh, they're always yeah. in my first first hour. And, uh, you know, it, it's it's a challenge, you know, sure. just because, you know, there's there's different kinds of abilities. Yeah. And to be able to mesh that into, you know, the other the other students that are in our class, it's, you know, it's it's enjoyable. Each yeah. each sem- each semester and or year is a little bit different, just because um, I get different kids. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but what's cool is you know I've had I've had Sean and I've had Carson and I've had John, um, I've had Nick. I've now had them. I think three years in a row now. Um, and you know we, we always replenish with some new students that come in from from the middle school and and I think you know John. This will be his last year. This is his last semester and. He's going to get get to be able to move on, and then Carson and, and uh, Sean. I think they're next year. Um, I might be incorrect about that, but either way, um, it's uh, it's cool to be able to have you know them be able to have our students work together. I, sure. I, um, yeah. It's it's it certainly warms the heart for sure. Yeah. One thing I'd like to mention: uh, they have a red patch on their sleeve, mm. and hopefully, you can see that on the broadcast but that red patch is uh the special olympics of colorado yep and uh they they support these special olympics uh, and unified sports in all the high schools so one of their big fundraisers is coming yep. up on april 17th and yep. it's a polar plunge yeah so if you want to be involved in a polar plunge you can get out you can either donate or you can go and plunge, or you can get out and walk and run like Kevin Hemphill's going to be doing. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, last year, the team raised sixteen hundred dollars. It was unreal. Yeah, and great, the, and, great and performance. Could, I know Grace had a, a ton to do with starting that. Yeah, and yeah. of course, you know AJ was right along with her a little yeah. bit, and then a variety of other students. Yeah. You know, I, I think what was their goal? Like seven hundred bucks. Yeah, they and they, they well exceeded the yeah. goal. Um, yeah, Grace has been involved with Special Olympics since uh, her sophomore year. This is her senior project to get Unified uh, Club going, and then really wanted to get sports going. Yeah, and uh, bowling was the first one. And you know, next year they're hoping to get a basketball program. Oh yeah, put together, which these kids love basketball. Oh yes, so, <laughs> so hopefully that'll happen as well. So we, that's what I do. You know. That's, that's it's kind of the two sides of the sword a little bit. Um, it, because they love basketball so much, sometimes when I introduce another sport, like volleyball right now is just a really big challenge for them. Yeah, yeah. And more so for some students and not um, so for some yeah. of our unifieds. And yet basketball, they can all play yeah. fairly well. Like their skill level, clearly that's just something that they've probably been yeah. doing since they were little. And uh, with them, I have to do a basketball unit about four times a year. <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> Just to be able to keep their interest. Yeah. Because they miss it. Yeah. Um, and so with that first hour class, sometimes, you know, we, you know, we have to have a kind of a open gym a little bit more <laughs> often <laughs> than than not. But uh, yeah. So well, it looks like we got we got a, a lane going here here shortly. Yeah, and it looks like on lane three, Strasburg sitting at 18 on frame two. Nice. Uh, Eagle Crest is at eight, so we jumped out on lane one. So it jumped out to a quick lead there, head to head. So perfect. I'm oh, not, I'm not we sure got John how. going again, and it's looking like the middle. Ooh, knocked down seven. John got seven. AJ Hemphill up there assisting. Good job. All right. Looks like Sean's going to be up next on lane five. Oh, there goes Jake with a strike. Jake Gilbert with a strike. So, nice work. Uh, looks like the three Strasburg teams, there's three of them, and yep. black, red, and white. So yeah, okay. It looks we'll like Sean just got a got three pins there. Black team's in uh, 
frame three, they're sitting at a 28. Yeah. The red team's on uh, frame one. Ooh, AJ with a chance for a spare here. Oh, nice, nice spare. spare, AJ. Garrett, eh, missed a, bit, a little bit left. Missed that spare, but. So the red team has uh, 10 in the first frame. Nice start for them. Yeah. White team sitting at 12 in the second frame. Cade with a roll. All right. And then went Carson. Okay, Carson. A little bit left. Last week, Carson, uh, he was left for probably his first five or six rolls. And then he really turned it on. Jake Gilbert in the pocket oh. there. Oh. Yeah. Picked up nine. Picked up nine. All right. So a nice start for the Indians. Yep. And there goes Sean. Gutterall. That's okay. He'll get his groove here in a minute. All right, there goes Nick off the... Oh, nope. Nick into the gutter, but he's excited anyway. He's all right. All right. Indians on lane three. Oh, just outside. There goes Garrett, lane five. Got about four there. Looking over at Eagle, Chris. They're sitting at 35 on uh, their red team. Yep. In their uh, seventh frame. Yep, and 76 in their silver team. There are quite a few frames in already, though, because yeah. they're, they're a solid two minutes ahead of us. So I think we'll see. So there goes Wilson Ames. Oh, good roll. Got six there. All right, John. Oh, John, John Terry. <laughs> Did he just get it? Was that a strike? I believe so. Absolutely. Nice job, John. Sean up on lane five. Just went to the left on him there. Yeah. You know, I think some of our boys, they, they, uh, they warm up after about four or five, six throws. And then our uh, ringer, Eli. Eli like, just yeah. struck it again. How about that? I think we go, what is that, three or four strikes just with our couple teams yeah. already? There goes Garrett. It's amazing how much they've improved. Oh, oh, there's AJ. AJ he threw that hard. Pocket. Oh, another, another strike. <laughs> nice. Nice, AJ. Oh, there goes Cade. See if he's going to fade that back in. You got four out of that. You got four. So, Bert, you know, I, I'm going to stay consistent. Sure. And especially this week, because uh -huh. guess what this week is? What's that? This is Masters week. Oh, that's right, Masters. So yes, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna use some golf terms. Sure. So I'm gonna yeah. you know I'm gonna have some I'm gonna have some uh, some fades, some cuts, some sure. draws, some pulls. Yeah, I was watching the NCAA last night. Oh my gosh. Jim Nance is there, and I'm thinking <laughs> he's got to jump on a plane yep. and go to. Augusta. Yeah. So. That, that, and that, that's that got to be so painful, oh, I'm sure. Yeah, that's a rough job. <laughs> yeah, rough That's like job. digging ditches oh, right there. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I would I would uh, care to have that position yeah. right now. No, it's a, it's it's you know it's the biggest week in golf. Yeah. Um, it's, it's great, great time. To it's just weird because. Jody you know, Archuleta on five. Eight, oh, yeah. Seven. There goes Jody. Oh, there goes Cade. I think he'll get one out of those yeah. three with that little split there. Oh, there goes Nick. I think he's going to – come on, up. stay up. Stay up. Oh, uh, Just dropped in. Carson in there. Got the field goal. Yeah, we got the field goal. I'm going to use the Rich Carlos <laughs> yeah, term this week. There you go. He had a bare hand. No <laughs> glove. No foot. No shoe. Excuse me, no shoe. All right. We're starting off well, man. We, our first team here uh, with Eli and Jake, they're at an 89 already. That's outstanding. So we're, our first team's doing real well. The others are kind of coming into their own there a little yeah. bit. Oh, Eli almost got that spare. All right. They're going to finish with a 92. Strike hard John Terry's up at it again. It's looking good again. Oh, it's That's, fading on him. Yeah, fading a little. Yeah. There oh, goes Jody. Right at the end there. there goes Jody. Oh, that was nice. Seven pins. Good. So Eagle Almost. Crest Red Team, they finished with an 82. Okay. 
And I think ours uh, had a 92, ours? I believe. 92. Okay, so we got him on that one. Yeah. Oh, there's a strike from Eagle Crest. He's excited, as he should be. There goes Carson. This one looks real good. That's oh, a strike for go. Carson. Carson's coming off. And he is excited. Up. We've got <laughs> high fives, fists in the air. <laughs> he went high, he high tens his mom. How often do you get to high ten your mom? Usually you got to look into the yeah. camera and say, I'm thinking about you, mom. <laughs> That's right. He gets to do it live <laughs> and in person today. Right? <laughs> That's awesome. Sean's up on lane five, trying to yep. match his buddy there. Uh, uh, just what, what do you call that in a golf when it goes to the left? Uh, that would be a hard hook. A hard hook. Yeah. Or, yeah, or just a straight pole. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, Nick. He is. He's definitely determined. He he wants to do it on his own, and yeah, he's he's pointed a little to the right, but. Maybe, maybe A.J. can get him pointed a little straighter next time. Oh, there goes Jody Archuleta. Okay. Got Jake Gilbert up on three. He's going to try to pick up this spare. Well, hopefully he can use some of his putting skills here and get it down the line. Ooh, that looks oh. good. If he stays left. Oh, oh he just. About an inch oh, off. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> He, he burned the edge on that bad boy. <laughs> he burned the edge. Oh, if he'd have just had an inch, he'd have got all that. Darn it. Ooh, Cade might get something here, though. Looking good. Cade for a strike. Let's go. Oh, oh, we got eight. Got eight. Nice ball. That looked good, though. That was right where it should have been. John Terry setting up on lane yep. four. I think John, he knows. He don't need A.J. No. He don't need A.J. anymore. He's he, trying to get A.J. out he's of the got way. Him, uh, he's got his direction down, I think. And away it goes. He's got his spot. Yep. Ooh, there uh, goes good. Wilson for a spare. Oh, close, though. Oh, we guttered this time. That's okay, John. John's rolling it good today. Looks like the white team finished with a 51. Okay. That's solid. I think the last couple, or the last game, I think it was, there goes Jake there. Oh. Oh, should have been a strike. Got nine. There goes AJ. Okay. Got a hard three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think AJ, we need, to, we need him to uh, just it's, smooth it out a little bit. It's a 20-pound ball. It's yep. probably a little right tight for him. Oh, there goes Grace. This looks pretty good. Grace looks In the good. Pocket. Oh, oh got, a nine. got a nine. Didn't get that tenth pin over there. That looked good though. I tell you what, have, have you been teaching her how to bowl all these years? Well, you know, we we did uh, do a family outing Saturday night went did to you? Celebrity Bowl. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but uh, I don't know if you've ever been there. It's a uh, sensory overload. Is it? Uh, yeah. Well, we got music and the ball game. Where's that at again? Uh, it's right there at Arapahoe Road and uh, Parker Road. So oh, okay. Lane. Oh, it's a yes. lot of fun. No, we have been there. Yeah. That's yeah. where we have uh, Rocky the the Nugget. Yeah. 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 He, he's out in front, right? Yeah, a lot they, of fun. Hey, they have good pizza there. Oh, I remember. They, they yeah. do have good pizza. But, hey, Arapahoe Bowl here, yeah. they probably got good pizza, too. Yeah, they got a lot of lanes. They so do. It'll be fun. They do. Now, was it like this at Celebrity where they had to have it partitioned off? No. Or was it no. pretty wide open? Uh, they did have a mask requirement that nobody had a mask on. Gotcha. So. <laughs> gotcha. So. Well, I'll be honest. Of course, you know, that's what we're supposed to be doing. But yeah. I, think, I think people are, I think they're ready to be done with this. Yeah, I think so. I think they're like, okay, we get yeah. it. <laughs> AJ threw one in the gutter there. So yeah. Grace is going to. Grace is going to clean it up yeah. for him, right? I'm not saying that's happened before, but uh, it might have. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. Ooh, and Ooh, she might. That's good. She might. Oh. How about that? Oh, she got a split. <laughs> oh, man. That's a bummer. All right. Well, we got a. Looks like we got a bit of a pause here. Oh, I can. Oh, I think uh, they waiting on. Waiting on a bowler. They are they. Are they waiting on one? Hey, what's the 
Eagle Chris Buller on lane one. He, he gets a nine there, nice ball there. Lane two, Eagle Crest going in for the spare. Gotcha. And leaves one pin left. So I found out why there's a slight pause in our team. I guess because Eagle Crest didn't quite, well, they, they just went ahead of us. Oh. And they were supposed to wait for us. So we're waiting for them to kind of get done so then they can bowl Start in sort again. of unison at the same time. Yeah. So then one's not bowling and the other one is. And yeah. Just trying to coordinate together here. So that's cool. Yeah, it looks like uh, lane one and three are pretty close together, and yep. lane two and four are close. So, Well, we'll just continue the pause here. Yeah. Now, that's pretty cool right there. Look at that lane cleaner. Wow. That's pretty. I've never seen one of those. We need one of those for the basketball court. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, there goes AJ. Oh, got eight. That's pretty cool. That would be nice for our basketball court. Looks like the red team's going into the 10th frame here. Yep. There goes Grace again. They'll oh. need to mark, and that's not going to help them. No. Right into the gutter there. Yeah. So they'll need to pick up this spare to get that third ball in the 10th. Yeah. Well, I don't know what's in the kitchen, but it smells good. But I don't know. It's about dinner. It's, it's about dinner time. It's getting close. All right, John's going to line up here. AJ's trying to bring him over a little bit here. John readjusts, and I think he's ready to go. I tell you, John, he, he knows what he wants most of the time. He's yeah. pretty independent. He, uh, he'll he guide himself when he, when he knows he wants to. Oh, that looks, oh, that looks, that looks real pretty good. good. That's going to fade a little bit on him. Yeah, it faded a lot, really. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah, it started out right it down did. the middle. It sure did. Huh. But we did. We got some weather. Hey, it's uh, we got ourselves some snow and some sleet here in uh, Littleton slash uh, Centennial. Uh, we got some weather. I, I guess I didn't Yeah, I didn't see that in the forecast prior, but, of course, Hopefully. I was looking at my Strasburg forecast, so might be a little different. Well, it is spring, so yeah. usually we're at a track meet this time. Well, exactly. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. I, if there's one, you know, I was a you know, I was a track guy. Yeah. And I you know, I do. I remember that. And it never fails. If it's a track meet, it's going to be bad weather. Yeah. And when my boys decided, you know what, I think we're just going to play golf in the spring and get rid of track, yeah. I was like, I'm yeah. okay with that. But at the same time, I miss watching him run. Right. And I miss watching yeah. him jump. And I love track. I'll be honest. As, as, a, as an athlete, I I loved competing. Yeah. But at the same time, that was the downside is you a lot of times it's an all day, hurry up and wait. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, kind of that <laughs> the miserable part. But then also, that was also a lot of the fun part because your teammates were right along with you. Yeah. So you had a lot of downtime to kind of. Have some uh, fellowship, if you will. Yeah. Well, the delayed track season is uh, that's yeah. welcome news for us. Yeah, for probably. Us. Oh, Jake with another, another nine. nine. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you're a straight ball bowler. You don't get some of that yeah. action. Sean over. Oh, that's Sean. That looks good for Sean. Ooh, I think you got three. Yeah. 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 That's good. Good job, Sean. Looks like Nick's lining up on four. Yeah. All right, come on, Nick. You can do this, buddy. Oh, this might work out. Well, ah, fade it might fade again. him. I think that lane's got a bit of a yeah, tilt. Yeah, I think it's got a bow in it. Yeah. There. Yeah, it's... Cade coming up on three. Ooh, come on. Come on back. Stay up. Ah, shoot. Yeah. Look good for a minute. Ooh, there's Garrett with... Ooh. Almost got a spare. Left two out there. Black team's got another nice game going. They're yeah. blowing up a 95. They're sitting at 73. 73. And a yeah. yeah, we see if our other two teams can can pick it up here a little bit. Carson out on five. Yeah. He's he's into lane. Oh, there's Jake. He just threw a gutter ball. That was a, I think he was uh, hoping and praying. 
All right, there's John again. AJ lining him up. Now, he does have the, what do we call it? I think Co Coach, uh, Coach Bowler's called it the yellow comet. Well, now he's got the the green me, the mean the mean green hornet <laughs> ball today. Oh, solid he's in the green! Pocket. Yes. Ooh, How eight. about that? Not bad. Eight. Ooh, there's Sean. He dropped a seven. Good job, Sean. All those guys are picking it up a little bit. That's good. High fives everywhere. Down high there. fives. We like them high fives. Kate okay, this three. one looks good. This one looks good. Yes. Oh, nice ball. Solid six, yeah, I think. Yeah. All yeah. right. AJ and Garrett deciding, okay, who wants to go first? Oh, we're, we're going to go together. together. Green on green. Garrett threw a little better ball. Yeah, Garrett won that one. <laughs> Wilson. Wilson went after oh, the pin they already got. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's cool to see all these kids together because they yeah. genuinely care about one another. They genuinely want to see each other do well and uh you know this is the, i can't even i mean i every morning of course i come in in this uh the old junior high side of the building which is right there by the center base program doors yeah. and they were waiting for me to come in this morning and they had their bowling shirts on <laughs> they knew what day it was yeah yeah they're and, excited uh, about game day they yeah. they know it's about you know it's about their team yeah and uh sean over on five here yeah yeah, they they uh, they love being uh, included in here. And they that's do. what it's all about. Absolutely, so. but you know that's even though you know Grace and several of our you know they've done such a good job of making it really official now, yeah. right? Yep. What's oh. been always great about our program, or I shouldn't even say program, but our school in general, mm -hmm. is our kids have always made sure that all of our kids are involved yep. somehow, some way. Um, but what's cool is now it's totally verified it's supported by chassa exactly and yeah. they are they are official they're being yeah. scored just like everybody else yeah and my understanding is we will send a team to state yes so, yes so we'll be represented at the state tournament which so. is awesome i mean that's yeah. that's so cool i i i who would have i just yeah i guess i just didn't see this coming a while back you know yeah. i just it's great. But, you know, a lot of the other big schools, they already have basketball teams. They already have bowling. They, you know, yeah. they've already kind of had programs set yeah. in place. And like you were mentioning, you know, we hope to, as a school, to hopefully be able to expand yeah. sport-wise. Yeah, hopefully. So and it's going to. You know, hats off to Chassa to make this yeah. program uh, yeah. available to the high schools. So. Sure. Well, you know, in, in, as crazy as the world is right now and it's <laughs> cancel culture yeah, and, yeah. you know everybody's offended by whatever you know what's yeah. great about all this is here we have something that it, do, it doesn't it doesn't matter where you come from who you are what you are it doesn't matter yeah. oh okay. Kane with a strike and the team explodes how about that <laughs> yes they did and his mama gets to see yeah. him get a strike how yeah. cool is that his mom Tracy is our one of our is our elementary PE teacher and she's an awesome <laughs> supporter um, but what's great is that, you know, they have the ability to, you know, be legit, Yeah. you know, and, and in this time of the world where so much is kind of craziness, this, this type of a program that provides inclusion for everybody, exactly. um, yep. is great because for all of our kids to be able to team up together and make this up, like I, I honestly, I had, I had no idea my son was even, even thinking about this. You yeah, know, yeah. and and yeah. next thing I know, I yeah, I, Wilson, you know Wilson Ames, yep, big big yep. big supporter of this. But guess yeah. who influenced him? AJ, you know, nice. AJ yeah. and Grace have been the have been the really drivers. sort of the drivers, yeah. Yeah. in my opinion. And, and uh, hats off to the partner students, yeah. Uh, and that's what they they're called as partners yep. in the yep. uh, special needs is uh, the athlete, and yep. those, those partners have stepped up and really bought into the yep. program. Yeah. You know what? And 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 my son Jacob, you know, he <laughs> I had no idea this was on the radar for him. You know, he's yeah. a pretty reserved kid. He doesn't say much. Sure. And he's, you know, socially he kind of he's a kind of under the radar. Yeah. But thankfully kids like Wilson that's an extrovert <laughs> and AJ, they're extroverted <laughs> yeah. kids. They yeah. pull I saw a funny a guy posted on Facebook this last week. There's a big there's a big graph and or a big uh, pie chart and 
almost 98% of it is orange, and then the little slice is yellow, and it says um, uh, the orange part was introverted friends, and it said something about if you're an introvert, the only reason that you have friends is because an extrovert a extrovert actually adopted you. Yeah. <laughs> and that's a lot of truth. <laughs> There's a lot of truth yeah. to it. Yeah. And so I, I see this I see similarities here in our own little group. So yeah. Well that black team is on fire for the Indians. So yeah. They're uh, sitting at seventy seven yep. after seven with a strike. So yep. they they have a real good shot at breaking uh is John digits. having a chance at this Oh, did you get it? Did you get the spare? I think they're sitting right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Sean Sorry, I thought I saw the ball roll. And Sean on five. There goes yeah. Sean. Sean will get it figured out. He, yeah. He, sometimes, you know, when they try a little harder, then they they, they gutter it. Yeah, so. they get a little excited there. <laughs> so black team uh, has a 91 in the eighth frame. Wow. So they're going to they're gonna, have their high they'll, game. They'll get over 100, I think, yeah. here, maybe. Yeah, they're going to have their high game of the day. Oh, the Jody Archuleta looks good here. Oh, oh. The, dreaded, <laughs> the, the dreaded split. Jacob Gilbert, the oh. dreaded split. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> AJ, with them, they, I think they're having fun. They're going, okay, well, let's go together. Yeah. We're going to try the uh, unison roll here. Yeah. Now Kate and Grace need to go together to try to pick these two up. <laughs> yep. There goes Carson on five. Oh, nice ball by Carson. Very good. Oh, Grace might get this. She'll get oh, it. Oh, she again, that see ball. that ball goes yeah. to the right. It really dropped off there. Yeah. Going to have to start playing that break. Yeah. I'm going to have to go up and get them. Hey, now when you read a putt and it breaks left or right, this <laughs> lane is breaking to the right. Yeah. You got to line that left. Get, go one more arrow to the left, and you're good. Yeah, I think you need to go talk to him. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Here, I'll be right back. So the black team sitting at 109, in working on a strike in the tenth frame. Great game by the black team for the Indians. Red team sitting at 49 in the sixth frame. Jake Gilbert on the tenth frame, another strike, two in a row. So they're sitting at 119, working off a double strike here. So, All right. Hey. I, I, I went and told them. I said, it's just like a break in a putt. <laughs> there you go. I said, you got to go, you know, I just repeated what I said. And we'll see. Here goes Kate. Kate, that the, looks real good. Oh, that could be three in a row. Oh, oh, my goodness. Great game by the black team for the Indians. Wow. 127. 127. <laughs> That's solid. Yeah, that, that is, is solid. solid. Wow. Wow. That's good. Well, we might need that. We yeah. might need that to pick up some of the other the other side a little bit. AJ coming up on four. Yep. See if AJ can. Yeah, he's hard into the gutter. Yeah, he <laughs> he's he's letting it rip, no question. Jody Archuleta on five. Ooh, Jody's letting it rip too. And Grace on four picks up four. Not bad. No. Solid. Looking over here to Eagle Crest. They're sitting at a 43 on lane one in the fifth frame. Silver team for Eagle Crest is at a 50 in the sixth frame. Gotcha. Well, it was kind of cool to, to to pull up and, and see one of our one of our old Indians, Lori, because she's at Eagle Crest now. Oh, she is. And nice. uh, it's, it's you know she's part of that program there. And of course, she was in Strasburg forever and ever at the middle school. Nice. And uh, it was great to see a familiar face there. And, and uh, oh, there's AJ. That one looks real good. Oh, yes. There it is. Yeah. How about that strike? I think he felt that one. He felt that one. Good job. Hey, AJ, that looked like the Bennett game. <laughs> Oh, Ooh, nice, nice there. bear pickup over there at Eagle Crest. Ooh, Grace with eight. Eli trying to get a Eli trying spare. to get a toe. Oh, he just misses it. <laughs> well, you know what's interesting? I was talking to Coach Woodard today. You know, you would think that there might be some special, like, accommodations made for our, um, our partner students. Uh-huh. They still got to hold their grades. They still got to oh, stay sure. eligible. Yeah. That it don't matter. So if you you know like we have ineligible or we have warning coming up with this next week, right? Uh huh. Well, 
you know, like like all academic ex institutions, that you know, yeah, you should have to be able to be in good academic standing in order to sure. play any sort of activity or do any sort of activity. Yeah. It they aren't making any bones about it. You still got to maintain a good uh, maintain good academic standing in order to actually work with this group. That's great. And I, I think that's a good rule. Absolutely. That, you know, we're here for to learn, and then yep. the sports is a privilege. So. Well, and you know. Sports and activities in general, you know, this is an incentive. The, I'm, I'm still a firm believer. The busier you are, the better you are. Yep, I and, agree. you know, like I, I hear, the, I hear the, the unfortunate part sometimes, well, I'm going to take, take this sport off so I can focus on my academics. Right. Well, what ends up happening? <laughs> Their yep. academics, because like, then they, yep. they have more time to kind of just yep. not be motivated. Yeah, you got to be out and be involved. you, you yeah. got to be in a, stru yep. you know, a structured environment. Right. It forces you to manage your time, yeah. and believe it or not, we we teach that you know in the high needs program, in the center yeah. based program. Yeah, they they have to learn those types of things too. Sure, you know, and yeah. and having these partners and yeah. Grace and AJ being there every day, um, yeah. they see that. Yeah, you know, so Listen. having having structure on at both levels is great. Ooh, AJ looking oh, good again. Boy. Oh. Dang, yeah, the nine. Red team for the Indians, they had a 95 on their last game. Did they? So, yeah. so that's good. Yeah. Well, that was a big comeback yeah, then. Yeah, they're uh, all these teams are doing real well. Good. Grace is going to pick it up, maybe no. Just a bit a bit to the right. We but you I don't know about you, sorry to interrupt. Yeah. But have you, have you kind of noticed a little bit of the There's a little more pickup in their step oh, today. Oh yeah. Yeah. A little more giddy up. I noticed that last week they came in and they bowled a lot better, and then it just carried on to this yeah. week. And you know they're into it; they're having a lot of fun, and uh, they're improving. Yep. You know. But I'll be honest; I don't care where I. I made a post on on uh, Twitter this week. I, you know, it doesn't matter what stage of life you're in or who you are. Yeah. yeah. If you're in a competition, you're you're meant to compete. Yep. Yeah. And these guys, I guarantee you, when they came in, they're like, ooh, that's yeah. the other team. Even yeah. though we like them, we want to be nice to them, we still want to beat right. them. Right? Yeah. In the end, we still want to beat them. Yeah. <laughs> well, A.J. went bowling with us Saturday night, and he tried to beat me all night. So, <laughs> But we well, won't say who won. Well, but you know. It wasn't A.J. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes we have to teach the young'uns. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's good. Yeah, these kids are competitive, and you see it in yes. all their sports. Oh, they yeah. Do, so. Yep, there's Wilson. Wilson that nice. looked, oh, nice strike, Wilson Ames. Nice work. That's excellent. Sean coming up on five. Oh, oh Sean, good. be right. Be right for Sean. Oh, much oh. better. Solid six there. Grace with another <laughs> split. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you don't want to be following Grace. <laughs> right. Yeah. And there's Eli. I think he might get this one. Oh, oh split. we've got yeah. the big-time <laughs> splitties today. Holy cow. Okay. Sean and Carson high-fiving, having a good time. Mark Crandall here today helping us out again. We appreciate Mark's help. Just announcing that you're here helping us today. We appreciate it. K just went. What'd he roll? What'd he get? A couple there? No, I didn't catch it. I'm not sure. Yeah. John trying to pick up Grace's split, so she didn't help him at all. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes Wilson right in the pocket Ooh, he's, again. He's, I tell you, I think yeah. once you, you kind of get one, then your body sort of remembers it maybe a little bit. He might be going for that bowling scholarship. Whatever it takes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How much college is these days? Yeah. Uh, we'll take anything. Nice ball by Carson over there. He gets a seven on five. Nice. Five, so. Eagle Crest over on two. Gets I tell strike. you what, that kid, he's rolled, I think, three or four strikes. Yeah. I. He's solid. There's it goes Eli again. I think Eli's going to get this one. Yeah, nice, nice spare. Nice roll, Eli. Excellent. AJ up again. This one looks real good. Ooh, just, just a bit off. to the right. Yeah. There goes Sean. See if he can pick up the spare. Not quite. 
Was a little straighter that time, but not quite. Boy, that black team for the Indians, they've been impressive all day. They're yep. sitting at a oh. 69. In There's the Cade. Eighth. Cade got three, I think. Good job, Cade. Grace gonna, Grace gonna try to pick up, oh. Yep. Oh. Yeah. What do they call that, a slice, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was definitely a slice. Oh, being being another, the righty, yeah. or straight, that was a straight block. <laughs> yeah. That was a straight block. It's all right. The bowling ball's as big as she is, so it probably moves her around. Yeah, <laughs> <a little bit. laughs> exactly. <laughs> we had to try to get Shannon up here and talk. talk you know, a we bit. should. We should. I'll, I'll get sure her up where she's at. Shannon. Shannon. Shannon's a coach of Unified yep. Bowling, first year coach. Yeah. So she's done a great job organizing and getting this thing going. So see if we can get some comments from her. She'll probably be a little shy here. Can you come up to talk or do you want to wait with Nick? All right, we're gonna we're gonna interview a little bit of uh, Coach Shannon Oakley. Of course, hi, hi, Coach Shannon. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. I saw you up there tending to your your flock. Yes. Right. <laughs> yes. Because this is our big flock, right? It is a large flock. Yes. AJ <laughs> rolling another strong one here. So, got a few questions for you. Okay, I'll try to answer correctly. When you started the year, did you have any idea that you were going to be an official Chassa certified coach? No. <laughs> I did not. You did not know you are going to have to get on a computer and no. do the transportation test and the chassis coaching test and whatever other 17 certifications that we have to do in order to coach, yes. right? I have a whole other degree. <laughs> <laughs> that we all have to renew every year, yes. right? Yes, yes, apparently. <laughs> so, real quick, I mean, obviously this was sort of thrown together fairly quickly for yourself. Mm -hmm. Give me, Give me the, first of all, give me the most maybe two most challenging things about it and then maybe give me what what is it now that we've been through a couple weeks of this what has been the biggest surprises oh well the classes to be a chassis certified coach is challenging <laughs> that was the biggest challenge okay um had to learn how to drive a van i already knew how to do that oh that's good <laughs> Well, what has been sort of the challenging so, parts of putting this team together and kind of just like, whoa, you know, all of a sudden we got to do this? So the biggest concern was unified bowling is a co-ed sport. Right. So you, in order to compete in regionals and competition, you must have girls on your team, girls and boys. Right. And as you guys know, we have 10 boys and two girls. Yeah. So, um, and uh, Grace has been with us since the beginning and she... Yep. Um, went and did some recruiting, and we did our best, and we found another girl. So we have, um, you know, we have two girls on our team. Yep. Team now, so that that which is was Jody. A yep, Jody Archuleta. Yep. So that was a challenge, and um, I would say the first parent meeting that I ever had to have <laughs> was very nerve wracking. Yeah. And. Um, those are probably, you know, the classes and then that parent meeting. I think I would have rather taken that bylaws test. <laughs> okay, so so obviously, I mean, we all know. You did. Good You're job, like three Carson. for three now. Good job, Carson. Nice. Good job. Oh. I'm going to interview you later, okay? Okay. So um, obviously it's been an a incredibly positive response. Um, you know, my son, like I was talking to Bert earlier, Yep, My said I didn't yep. even see this on his radar of something that he wanted to necessarily be a part of. It, I just don't think he knew. But mm -hmm. thankfully to people like AJ, Grace, yeah, Wilson Ames, one of his best friends, mm -hmm. you know, I think that yeah. was like, they came hey, come package. along with us, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so wh what about what about these partnerships that you see as so valuable and, and what is it that uh, is positive for you? So what's positive for me is, you know, the inclusion piece of it and these, um, my students being included within the community as well as in, with the school. Um, and, you know, having them have, 
relationships and activities to do after they graduate. Yes. So, and many of them are going to graduate this year. And, right. you know, when they're se juniors, seniors, sophomores, they're still a group. It doesn't yep. matter what grade you are in high school. Right. So, and I see, you know, I can tell right away, you know, which, you know, athlete partner who clicked right away. Yeah. So I can see that in... Um, and you know, on the more quieter ones, yeah. they're opening up right. and helping out. And it's, what, are we in our second week? It well, hasn't seemed very long. I kind of mentioned this a little bit earlier. You know, it's funny, and you know, because of course I have them in PE every day, first hour. Yeah. Well, on on uh, bowling day, they're much more exuberant and they're much more uh, sort of alive to do to do things they're ready for the day to get started mm -hmm. they're like they, they didn't want to go through classes they just want to get to the yeah, bowling part right with, yeah. just like any of us but yeah. um i guess that's what's kind of worn my heart is uh yeah. you can see how it's affecting their behavior and it's affecting their um sort of excitement about regular classes too oh yeah because i think it, it changes their mood it, and they see more kids in the school walking down the hallway yeah. that they know and, yeah and other kids know them because guess what they get to wear on their bowling days they're bowling uniforms. They're bowling <laughs> game shirts, right? So yep. they get, you know, how many times have they had to walk through the callways and see whether it's basketball, football, golf, whatever sport, volleyball, mm -hmm. softball. They've all had their sort of spirit shirts, and they get yes. to see it. Now they get that now chance. Now they have their own uniform. Right, because they are chassis sanctioned, yep. certified, the whole thing. So anyway, yeah. I, 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 see some, I see some great things. What else, uh, what else do you anticipate or what do you look forward to here? Uh, towards the end of the season? Oh, you know, just enjoyment. Um, more willing, you know, participants for next year. Next year, the season will be in the fall. So, oh, okay. Gotcha. You know, we have half of our team are seniors, so we're losing half of our team already. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I'm hoping that this will open the door and open hearts and inspire, you know, other athletes to and partners to want to come and um, join bowling. Well, I know I've, there's. I already know some eighth graders and actually le legitimate eighth grade bowlers oh, that are already excited about coming. Good. And uh, they they can play. So yeah. um, I know I know. Uh, I think be between this broadcast and seeing all what's going on in this super positive environment, I think you're going to see. Uh, of course, we're we're going to lose a huge couple folks in, in Grace and AJ and and, and Jody and Garrett. Um, you know, and, and, and yes, and some and of our other athletes. I, yeah. But I do see this growing. Do you not? Do you yes, think? I. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. Well, either way, let's uh, let's enjoy the rest of the match, and uh, we're gonna let you go. Okay. So I know you you you've got things to do. You got to go coach. Yeah. So thanks for coming on. Thank you, Mr. Gilbert. You're welcome. <laughs> we're gonna give it back to to Bert. Good job, Coach. <laughs> so the black team, they just rolled another 101. They got a nice series going. Wow. So it, oh, the, okay, so they got a 127 and a 101? And a 95. And a 95, first. okay. Yeah, nice Very good. Series. Cool. They're in their fourth game. I thought they only bowled three, but it looks like they're going to go a few more. Okay. White team had a 79. Okay. So. I mean, pretty consistent. Yeah. You know, yeah. which is good. Red team finished up with a 55 here. Okay. They got a little work to do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they, they had a really good second game. They fell off that third game. There. Yeah. Well, that's part of it is also I think <laughs> they're getting a little tired probably yeah. towards the end of this these third and fourth ones. Yeah, you bowl three games, you can feel it in oh, that shoulder. Yes, for sure. Good. So that was nice as Shannon stopped by and talked to yeah. you guys. And well, especially kind of mid-game. I know I got a little, yeah. of course, everybody knows I'm a little talkative. But, um, you know, that was sort of the part of the deal. So this is, that's it as far as the tournament goes. We're just okay. going to let them, because we're going to tell seven, so they're just oh, okay. practice. So I guess the, the match is more or less over, and we'll, um, and they're just letting them, because we've got, we're sort of on time here. Um, as far as the bowling alley is concerned, so they're letting them play some extra oh, nice. games. Yeah. So thanks Good to practice. thanks yeah. to Rapo Bowl for for allowing them to do that. We'll try to get some uh, some final numbers here, but I know we mentioned a couple. Uh, yeah. The black team had a 
a 99, 127, and 101? Yeah. Is yeah, that correct? Yeah, I believe so. Nice series for them. Okay. The overall series. So. Well, we'll see how that compares yeah. to our our uh, cohorts here of Eagle Crest and see how we compare to them. So what's kind of cool is we might know who a winner is and who isn't uh, after today, uh, you know, le legitimately today since our competition's actually here. So we might we might know some numbers here yeah. shortly. So, but it's just great to see them out. Just they're just cruising. They're just having fun. Yeah, they're enjoying it. Great time for the kids and the and the team's really meshing. They you know. really are, and that's what Shannon mentioned. Yeah. You know, she she just she thought just that whole part of seeing kids certain kids mesh well together. Yeah. Um, and that's just awesome. I mean, I know we talk about it all the time, but, you know, part of it, we, we have the benefit of being here. We, yeah. get, we get to see it all, even though everybody else out there is only kind of seeing it from one particular camera angle. Um, I You know, I have the benefit to know all these kids. I, I, I have them in class. I've had um, some of our other partner player, some of our other partner players, you know, I've had them since they were, I've had AJ and Grace since they were freshmen. Sure. And now they're big adults now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and again, you know, if, if you're interested in supporting yeah. the program, you know, the Polar Plunge is a fundraiser for Special Olympics, and that money trickles down to the unified sports programs yep. around the state of Colorado, and our program benefited with jerseys this year from the unified oh, sports. Oh, perfect. And uh, Special Olympics. So that was a big, uh, a big uh, win for us. Oh, heck yeah. Well, and, and just like anything, especially in this COVID year, I mean, funding is yeah. always a challenge. Yep. Um, I know that very well from when we started golf. So, yeah, um, it takes time to, to build that up, and, and we and we would love to have a big team out at the Polar Plunge. Oh my gosh, the more yeah. the merrier, and uh, what a great great time it'll well, be. Well, we would be, but run. unfortunately, so. or fortunately, we will be playing golf competitive. <laughs> Jake sure. and Cam have their first yeah. actual spring golf tournaments that particular weekend, so uh, we won't be able to unfortunately be there, but yeah. we will be there in spirit for sure. But, yeah, it, it would be awesome to see a bunch of our students and families out there supporting this um, in that polar plunge. That's, that's one thing I've never <laughs> had the guts to do is to plunge in cold water. Yeah, I think, I think I'd rather run three and a half miles than jump yeah. in a cold lake. So. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's mention a couple of our sponsors sure. again. Um, so... Again, um, let's start with our um, red sponsors, Home and Land Realty. Now is the time to sell your home and land for top dollar because we know the market still continues to be strong. Contact Home and Land Realty, your local real estate professionals at 303-622-4242. Blue Halo Homes. Together we can find a solution for your next home. Please contact Blue Halo Homes. Um, proactive, proactive physical therapy and medicine, sports medicine, 13 locations, including Strasburg, Brighton, Greeley, and Eaton. Recovery in motion, 720-805-1853. Uh, of course, we have one right in Strasburg, like I mentioned. Um, Paul's Homes, looking for a new home? Come see Paul's Homes at Blackstone Ranch. Visit us at liveinstrasburg.com or contact uh, them at 303-622-4131. Um, and moving on to our black sponsors, Westward Fence. Westward Fence, contact Dusty Miller at 303-478-2768 for your commercial and agricultural temporary fencing needs. Of course, it's springtime now, so, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to be able to tidy up our yards, and fencing's a big part of that, so contact Dusty. Wolf Waste, uh, call, contact Jeff Black with Wolf Waste, a service-disabled, veteran-owned small business. Contact Jeff Black at... 970-483-5299 and Western Hardware our local hardware store it's been there forever and ever um, Strasburg's local hardware store since 1972 open 7 days a week for all your home improvement needs contact Western Hardware at 303-622-4414 do you have any insurance problems got you uh, trapped uh, let's, let's get a strike and contact Dylan Kent and his team with One Street, One Street Insurance Group um, here uh, in Strasburg. We are the brokers of auto, home, business, and life insurance with top independent companies in the state. It is a strike 
Um, and to our 300 game in bowling, 303-577-9998. Contact OneStreetInsurance.com and contact Dylan again for any of your insurance needs. Um, our uh, continued black sponsors, The Gift Shop, great local source for gift items, greeting cards, antiques, and home decor. The Gift Shop is located in downtown Strasburg. Of course, we have Mother's Day coming here shortly, and they have a ton of things in there that we could certainly think about for our moms. Living Springs Veterinary Care. Living Springs Veterinary Care is located in Bennett, Colorado. They offer 24-hour. Oh, Nick might have gotten a good one there. Good job, Nick. Um, they offer 24-hour emergency service. Bring your animals to the clinic or they will come to you. So contact Living Springs Veterinary Care at 303-644-3337. And, of course, the team that you're seeing right now, just to kind of remind everybody, these are some... Um, some some practice games that the uh, Arapaho Bowl is so gracious to let them play their time out and get some extra bowling in. So we certainly appreciate them uh, for them doing that. Um, again, Weller Insurance. Come by and see why Weller Insurance has been in business since 1990. A small office of community members who are committed to com customer service for our neighbors. Give Weller Insurance a call. Uh, Dana down there at 303-622-4717. Contact Dana, of course. And then Vault Public Accounting. We, uh, of course, that dreaded time of the year is over taxes. Vault Public Accounting is available to all of us regarding walk-ins. Uh, of course, they are welcome. And then business and personal tax services. So contact Vault Public Accounting at 720-360-0410. And our new black sponsor, Clausen Chiropractic, spinal health for the whole family at Clausen Chiropractic, which is located at 1517 Main Street in Strasburg. Contact Clausen Chiropractic at 303-622-4200 for an appointment. And then last but not least, our white sponsors, Big D's Warriors, bringing baseball to our special needs kids on the I-70 corridor, Adaptive Baseball League in honor of Diego Alvarado, uh, the brother of Daniel, our own Dean, Daniel Alvarado and our own Alvarado family. Um, and then, of course, our anonymous don donation in recognition of the class of 2021, wishing you the best in, our la in your last months of high school and your future plans. Once an Indian, oh, no, always forever an Indian. I kind of added that little forever Indian part in there because of our page. But um, again... Thanks, everyone, for joining us today, and thanks so much to our sponsors. We could, again, not do this without you. Um, you have been so uh, integral in bringing, you know, the, these activities together. I think we've got not only our bowling today, we've got two other activities uh, being live-streamed today, and uh, we, cannot thank, we cannot thank Kevin Hemphill enough. He has been the, you know, the, the guide the supporter, everything regarding these these activities uh, as far as getting them um, brought to, you know, an entire country. If you got an yeah. internet signal, you can get this game. Yeah, oh, yeah. And I, I notice sometimes on the on the comments, especially on either the Forever Indians page or, or the Strasburg 31J page, people are so appreciative of this because it allows them to see their grandkids or their sure. or their nieces yeah. and nephews or they're just their good friends because you know so many people have great friends they just want to support right. their friends kids yeah even out of state out of state yeah, or you bet. and think about i think it's was it henry and um oh who's our other foreign exchange student i forgot oh i don't oh yeah you're I, asking I, the wrong guy they're watching <laughs> it. i mean they watched football and some of the and basketball activities they were watching from germany oh wow. so, i mean how cool is that yeah, that you that can is. watch yeah. your own kids in a you know Sure. Totally different country experience, you know, American yeah. high school sports, yeah. which is pretty unique around the world. So, And, and you know, I went on and uh, looked at YouTube bowling at last week's match, and we had 184 views. So I appreciate wow. everybody that watches us live and then goes back and watches it afterwards. So. Well, I'd be kind of curious. Uh, we've got uh, we got a couple couple of uh, great comments from, from a couple of our other coaches and parents, which is great. Um, let's see. I was trying to see where do we see the views. I can't. I don't know if you can see it from this screen. Uh, but it looks like current viewers are 14. Okay. So. Oh, okay. I see what yeah. you mean. So then, uh, yeah, playbacks are in the 60. So, I mean, it just sort of depends. I mean, what's cool is 
people can go and watch this yeah. for the next couple, two or three days. And I know a lot of the athletes will go back and watch themselves, yeah. oh, which we, is great. <laughs> I have to yeah. admit, we, yeah. you know, us and the boys, we'll go back and we'll just kind of see yeah. um, what everybody looked like on the TV yeah. because we replay <laughs> what we experienced live, <laughs> which was kind of cool. I mean, yeah. think, think about how many hooting and hollerings we've had today. Sure. And big cheers. Yeah. It's kind of cool to go back and relive it a little bit. Yeah, you know? exactly. So. Yeah, and to, to go back and mention our executive producer, yes. Kevin Hemphill, he's also our bus driver today. So oh, I didn't yes. realize so that. So he's doing it all. So we do appreciate everything Kevin well, does for us. Well, you know, that's one of the fortunate things. When you have the, your uh, when you have have your name on the building over there at the middle school, yeah. um, it, it comes with a lot of responsibility. Lot of responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm sure it's like, oh gosh, I gotta do this too. <laughs> yeah. I gotta. Oh, and by the way, I gotta teach math. <laughs> yeah, you know, in a variety of math kind of levels. The, yeah, that's way down. Yeah, there, that's way down. Yeah. yeah. The production of all this stuff has definitely yeah. gone up on the uh, ladder of priorities. So, well, I didn't think I was gonna do this either. And then whatever, a couple of weeks ago, Kevin and I were just kind of talking about it. And I said, well, shoot, my my son Jake, he's. He's part of it. I'll just come and hang out. And he goes, well, if you want to announce, we can do that. I'm yeah, like, all right, cool, go. we'll do it. Because I, I, I guess why I was sort of, a, what was super appealing to me is I have all these kids. These are my yeah. kids, too. You and bet. to be able to come and, yeah. and, see, and, and support them outside of the school environment. Sure. For me yeah. as a teacher and as a person, I get a ton of gratification, you know, a ton yeah. of uh, gratification out of it. And I, I, uh, I appreciate it very much. So. Yeah. I think we're in uh, back into practice round, so. Okay. Well, we'll uh, we'll wait for our executive producer to let us know kind of where we're at, and Eagle Crest with a with a good roll, maybe a strike as well. It's cool though. I mean, they might be our competitors, but it it's great to see them super involved and super excited for their own kids too. So. They all kind of feed off each other in a very positive manner, so it's great. Jody Archuleta, Carson, you got another. Did you get another strike again? No, I did not. I got three of them. But you got three strikes today, right? Yeah. Outstanding, Carson. Good job. Good work, man. Good work. Well, this is cool. And you know what a lot of people don't realize? Well, I guess you do when you see it, but you would think that in this situation they'd have bumpers up. Nope. No, no bumpers. They, they, they roll just like anybody yeah, else. Straight bowling. Yep. Get in there and you stand on your own. Yep. So. That's good. Because they've got to have that competitive element too. Yeah. And they've got to understand, you know, like I always tell my boys, you know, I, I of course I don't want you to mess up too, too bad, but I want you to mess up some. Yeah. Because how do we learn? We learn yeah. from our mistakes, right? Yep. And we learn from, you know, we, ha we have to be able to work through difficult times and, and uh, persevere. Yep. And uh, that's just part of developing as a human being and right, lifetime right, skill they got to learn. Yeah. Got Jake Gilbert coming up on three here. He's been uh, right in the pocket all day long. <laughs> I think he was. So, I think he had I, that first initial strike, and then it's all been like spares. And oh, now he's trying the curl ball yeah. or the oh. draw. Oh, another nine. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was intrigued with yeah. Eli and learning how to uh, spin the ball. Oh, there's AJ. AJ. Oh, AJ did get his strike. Nice. These guys are finding their groove here. Yeah. Well, go figure out when there's no pressure. <laughs> yeah. And now it's just all fun. That's all right. That's part of the deal. Eli That's coming up. He's going to get a strike. Oh, rattled the ninth, the ninth in there. Almost back to So it looks like they're going to wrap things up here, starting to wind down a little on. bit. Yeah. I heard the, I heard the shoe call. And we got even more parents here today. Yeah. Sean's, Sean's mom looks like maybe grandma's here. John's mom's uh, here. And John and, yeah. and his mom and dad. and Yeah, it's great to see the parents support. It is. So. <laughs> no, it's great. I think they're super excited. Like yeah. they, you know, good. 
you know, sometimes we always just talk about the student athletes. Yeah. But man, how cool is this for the parents? Yo. Right. Yeah. I mean, how yeah. cool is this for them to to be able to come out and support their their student athletes and and uh, feel you know feel like we're all part of a team. Sure. You know? We all want to feel that way. Yeah. Getting a little bit of the pan around there. One thing I'd like to see if we can get Grace up here. Maybe she can yes. uh, put that'd some. That'd be awesome. Let me grab her and she can yep. talk about the polar plunge and all this. Oh, specifics. yeah, that'd be great. Grace, we're right right here at the end of the broadcast, but we wanted to give you an opportunity to talk about the polar plunge and kind of give them some specifics about what's coming up with the April 17th event and some of the, you know, what it does for your guys' program. Yeah, so the polar plunge is going to be on April 17th in the morning, so it's about a week and a half out. Um, it's a fundraiser for Special Olympics, so all money goes to Special Olympics Colorado. But in turn, that money also helps school programs like our bowling team. So, for example, last year's Polar Plunge paid for our uniforms this year. So it can really help a lot of school programs, and it'll be a lot of fun. There's a plunge and a 5K. So if you don't want to get cold, you can always run a 5K and get some exercise. Or if you don't want to do either, you can... Um, you can donate to the team on the link, and that link is posted on Forever Indians in Facebook. So. And what's the name of your team? Our, the name of our team is The Berg. And the Berg? Yes. And, and do you know the link off the top of your head, or they can uh, go to the UR code on the poster? I do not know it on the, the top of my head. Um, there's posters around the school. It's posted on Facebook, and then it's also in the paper from last week. So. Great. Well, we appreciate all you guys do and hope you had fun today. So Yes, we yeah. had a lot of fun. <laughs> and if you have a chance, join the Berg, Berg team for the April 17th and jump in the lake. So thank you, Grace. Thank you. Nice work, Grace Buckman. So we're going to probably end this I yeah. don't see any scores coming up but I know our team did extremely well today. they did so some really uh, good good scores out there and yep they're getting ready to wrap up and jump on the bus and head home so yeah because we got ourselves some big old snowflakes out there this <laughs> the better yeah. we get on the road yeah. but again hey we want to again thank everybody out there and hey we're going to be back on Thursday back home right. we're going to yeah. be at, at Lucky Strike Lanes in Strasburg and yeah and we're going to have a chance to uh Roll some bowling balls again and, and do this all over. And I think Jim Bowler's Nance is going to be on the broadcast. Yes, here, I think, so. uh, yes, he's so. definitely going to be back on it. And, and guess what? That's going to be literally on the first day of the Masters. Oh, there you so, go. So, you know, yeah. I might. to talk about. Oh, yeah. man, I'm going to be, like, yeah. on the side watching the news everywhere. Yeah. All right, everybody. Yeah, Bert, we, thank you. It was a pleasure. Yeah, thank you, and we appreciate all the sponsorships out there. Yep. So thank you, guys, and have a good evening. Yes, thank you. Thanks. Okay, and then we go back to YouTube. Oh, now 